Master Mark opens our film with a traditional Southern Praying Man a salute. Notice how the salute simulates a mantis. Remember, the salute covers all angles of attack, and every movement in the salute can be used for self-defense. Master Mark will now demonstrate the chinna, or escape hands movements, of the Southern Praying Mantis system. Here we see how to escape from single hand attacks. Notice the circling movement of Master Mark's hands as he breaks the hold, followed by the immediate strike to the opponent. Here we see a single hand ma shoe break and strike to the inside and the outside. Here we see how to break two hand grabs. Entice him to advance when his energy is emptied. Stick to him and come forth with power. Notice how Master Mark uses his elbow to break the hold then continues circling it to control and strike the opponent. Master Mark now demonstrates several breaks. Notice in each one how he breaks the hold, controlling the hand while striking the opponent. Here we see how to cut an attacker's double punch, then return the strike. To react instantly to the blows of the opponent with one's own is to adjust to the strength of the other party. Spring hands techniques teach you to use the opponent's power and redirect it back at him. Master Mark automatically borrows the force of the block circling his arm, pivoting at the elbow to deliver his strike. The Southern Brain Manus kicking techniques are basic, primarily low kicks to the knee, shin, or groin with some tripping involved. You always strive to maintain your basic horse stance, for this gives you your solid foundation. You should work daily on your horse for a strong development of your stance and kicks. Remember, all power originates from strong, well-balanced footwork. Master Mark demonstrates how to block a front kick by using his own foot to cut the strike or circle around the incoming kick, hooking it around the calf to the outside. Then, as in all Manus blocks, you follow through with a strike. Notice how Master Mark steps into his opponent after blocking the kick to uproot his opponent's support and throw him off balance. There are several techniques being shown here, so you should rewind your tape and study these over and over being careful not to injure your opponent while practicing them. We're now going to see the form three-step arrow Three-step arrow is the foundation of the Southern Praying Mantis system. Sam Dart, the first master and discoverer of Southern Praying Mantis Kung Fu, developed three-step arrow. It was these techniques that he used to fight and defeat the other monks when he returned to the temple to try out his newly developed style. 
what is three-step arrow? Three-step arrow is the beginning and the end of the style. To understand three-step arrow fully and be able to execute it is Southern Praying Mantis Kung Fu. Three-step arrow is a combination of techniques used to develop your internal power known as Qi and your breathing. Master Mark says, three-step arrow training aims at enhancing your breath and blood, bringing about swiftness of body and hands. When you practice three-step arrow, you strengthen and revitalize your muscles while practicing a combination of techniques. Your vital or focused energy is directed to the hands. You must learn to control your body and relax. Not too tight, yet not to relax, sinking your breath to the dantin, a position approximately two inches below the navel. This will root you firmly downward. Forms cannot be defined, but must be experienced to be truly understood. Focusing one's mind on the movements of the form is called active meditation. You learn to concentrate on your movements, directing your chi flow to the striking areas with deadly force. Now watch Master Mark. three-step arrow from a side view. It begins with a traditional salute, followed by a three power strike low. Note as the arms are pulled together, then up, the breath is brought in, and as you bring the elbows down and in, the breath is contained. Then as you punch out, the chi is directed from the abdomen back to the spine and up and out your arms through your hands. Remember, the chi is brought out with your mind, not your muscles. Master Mark equates a three-power strike to a three-stage rocket shot towards the heavens. First stage is a punch or block. The second stage, a finger spear. The third, a grab out of this finger spear and then a punch. This three-power strike builds short power. Notice how relaxed Master Mark's shoulders are and how his back is held. Remember, the power comes from the mind and then the breath. dedication and imagination, he introduced the two man forms to Southern Praying Mantis Kung Fu. Here we see two man three step arrow. Through the two man forms you get to experience the feeling, timing, and breathing required for developing your techniques. practice your techniques until they become an automatic response, no thinking involved. 
When you have trained your body to react automatically to an attack, you will have truly learned self-defense. Remember, your power and chi is directed by your mind, not your muscles. Master Mark demonstrating the blocks of Southern Praying Mantis Kung Fu. Here we see Ma Shu, translation grinding hand. Ma Shu is a circular block used to slice and deflect the power of the opponent's strike. It's very important to keep your elbow of the mushrooming arm in towards the center line of your body. Then if you're late in the slicing of the block with your forearm, your elbow still blocks the punch. Now we see Master Mark demonstrate Chalk Shoe. Chalk Shoe is a block in which you hook your blocking hand over the top of your opponent's arm and follow his power, deflecting it away from your center line. Keep your palm up and perpendicular to your forearm, allowing you to hook your opponent's strike, then follow through with your own strike. Sai Shu translates to deflecting hand or slicing down hand. You learn to slice the power of your opponent's strike through practice and learning of the proper angle of your slicing arm. In Sai Shu, you roll your forearm in the direction of the block as you slice down, using your other hand to guide and control his punch. Here we see a demonstration of Chop Shu. Chop shoe means eat hands because the movement is similar to the way the mantis feeds itself. The elbow is kept in with the palm up. The angle between the palm and forearm forms a hook used to block and deflect the opponent's punch. Then you can follow back up his arm with a flick or punch as Master Mark demonstrates. Gop shoe translates to detain hand. In Gop Shu, you learn how to trap your opponent's arm, allowing you to dislocate the elbow or break the arm. It's very important when practicing Gop Shu with your partner to use minimum force. Here Master Mark demonstrates Gua Shu, translation cutting hand. Gua Shu is a cutting block used for blocking a mid-body or low punch. After you Gua Shu the block or kick, you continue with the same hand to strike your attacker. This concludes our three-step arrow video. Practice the movements until it becomes second nature. Master Mark hopes all his students will reach the levels to make the infighting Southern Praying Man system the number one form of self-defense. Also, by practicing Kung Fu, you can ward off disease and relieve tension and stress, thus bringing about improved health and prolonged life. back more than 2,000 years ago. It was believed that dancing lions chased away evil spirits and would bring good luck in the upcoming year. Therefore, lion dancing became a tradition at Chinese New Year's. Master Mark and the Southern Prime Man's Kung Fu Association wish you many happy New Year's.